show you about location in App Inventor, okay? And and basically, at least how to how to find out where your phone is or where you know your app's running, and it can always tell where it is, all right? And I've got the UI set up here, and you're seeing this on on the phone. My phone is sitting right here; it's projected on the screen, so that's what you're seeing. But if you want to find out your location, you're going to grab a location sensor, and you have to go to the sensors drawer, okay? And it was open, but I just wanted to show you opening it. Grab location sensor and stick it in your app, okay? And that's that's good. Now, if we go to the blocks, um, it's real easy to kind of actually grab the information. But what you want to do is put it within a location changed event, okay? So when the location changes, let's change these numbers here. And in fact. This event gets triggered the first time a reading comes in, so it's not really, I guess, location's changing from zero reading to a reading, and then also if you move around a little bit. And there's some there's some properties that we can change to make it trigger more or less often, but for, anyway, the, it's going to trigger the first time a reading comes in, and so this event will get triggered. And what I want to do, you know, is just basically, let's just stick the latitude that we get, the latitude reading, into a text box called lat label. So what I'm going to do is set lat label text to the latitude of when my location changes come, comes in. Okay. So you know nothing happened right yet, but let's go ahead and finish these other properties. So I want to set the longitude as well. Okay. So I want to put in my label. I want to put what my longitude is. Okay. And then finally, um, I want to get the address. So I'm going to set the address label. And you know, there's no there's no parameter for this one in the event, but I can go to the location sensor, and there's actually a, a block called current address, and this it's it's not a it's not a parameter here because Google you know App Inventor does some more work. It calls Google, and sends it the latitude longitude and actually gets the street address because so this will show a, a street address. Okay, so this is kind of what we want. These are the blocks. You'll notice my phone hasn't changed, so so what's what's going on? Well, there's a couple couple things. One is this timer interval is saying you know only check every 60 seconds. So 60,000 milliseconds is 60 seconds or a minute. So let's go ahead and change this to every second, all right? And then you know that also basically also kind of updated my UI. And as you see, boom, it's gonna it's gonna give us this this new reading. And then, I don't know if I can move my phone as it's just sitting here, but as I move my phone, the reading can change change as well. Okay. Sometimes you know the location stuff's a little a little glitchy. Make sure um, you you know you go to your settings on your phone and, and set them correctly. Um, so like for instance, I here I've, I've taken my phone in my hand here, and I'm just going to go to um, settings. So on my phone, the settings I can get to right here. And then if you go down to location services, you know, these are the things you might might check. So, you know, GPS satellites is the best way to get your location. Wireless networks, it'll get location if if it can't get a GPS satellite. So make sure those guys are checked and that will um, keep your keep your app uh, getting getting location stuff. Um, okay, anyway, that's the basics of location. I want to do say say one thing about these guys. So Time interval means, you know, at the most, um, go and you know, app inventor will only check at the most every second if the location has changed. So it won't, it won't, this this won't trigger a million times in a second, which it could if you were running running fast. Um, so that's what the time interval. It's really the minimal time between triggers of that location changed event. And distance interval is the same. You could change this, and this is in miles, I think or uh, meters, I'm sorry, it's in meters. And you know, basically you can say, if the phone moves 100 meters, then let this location changed event trigger, okay? So in other words, if you want to do, put, do a little breadcrumbs as, as you're running, you could say, you know, give App Inventor an idea how often it should, should, should do the breadcrumb.